Honorable House Chair, as we consider this report, the strengths and the weaknesses of this department will certainly be revealed for what they are, and certainly the weaknesses are glaring. The Health Department has regressed to an unqualified audit opinion with material findings where irregular expenditure has increased from 37 million to 69 million in the 2019-20 financial year. Another blow was dealt to the health of South African citizens with the revelation that the Compensation Commissioner for Occupational Diseases and South African Health Products Regulatory Authority, SAPRA, did not submit their financial statements for the year under review. The ACDP finds it unpardonable that the communicable and non-communicable disease program, while spending over 99% of its budget, received only 56.3% of its targets and had the second largest under expenditure of 137.6 million. This under expenditure takes place in the midst of a health crisis with many state hospitals being under-resourced and under-staffed. This is inexcusable, just as the bungling of the AstraZeneca vaccine was inexcusable, with its reduced efficacy and expiry date not checked. Honorable House Chair, allow me to reiterate the ACDP's position on vaccines. We are not anti-vaccines, but have consistently called for safe, voluntary vaccines, the contents of which must be made known to recipients. We have called for the Health Department to inform all South Africans on the importance of boosting one's immune system as the first port of defense against any disease. The ACDP has also called for ivermectin by, uh, to be made available by a, a prescription from a medical doctor to those who have contracted COVID. Why is it that countries such as India, Brazil, Philippines, and others, Zimbabwe included, use ivermectin effectively with promising results, Thank you, but Honourable SAPRA Thring, cannot, time which cannot submit its financials on Thank time you, limits. Honourable I'm with ivermectin in South Africa. We do not accept this report.